bulletin. Our sign language interpreter tonight is Philip Omondi. We begin with sad news. At least 10 people have died, while 10 others are in critical condition after a lorry ferrying sand from Nairobi hit four oncoming vehicles from Mombasa at KMQ in Salama area along Nairobi Mombasa Highway. Elsewhere, a 17 year old student of Chevakali High School died on the spot after an easy coach bus that they were traveling in veered off the road and overturned at Coptic Mamboleo along the Kisumu Kakamega Highway. Bromo Bwire begins our bulletin with the two accident stories. This wreckage shows the magnitude of the accident at Kimakio near Salama area that left 11 people dead and then others nursing serious injuries. The accident occurred after a speeding lorry collided head on with the Matato as it tried to overtake. I was so confused because here we could see learning discipline and excessive speed that led to this accident that occurred. So we are urging all motorists to follow the rules and regulations that were set forth. Elsewhere, a 17 year old student from Chavakali Boys High School died when their Easy Coach bus was involved in an accident at Coptic area along the Kisumu Kakamega Highway. Students who underwent surgery are still nursing injuries at Avenue Hospital in Kisumu. We received three patients from the school. Two have gone through theater but currently are in fair general condition. We also had one in an outpatient, also stable. <laughs> Local leaders from Western Kenya have asked Transport CS Kipchumba Murkomen to move fast and carry out road repairs along the highway, which they say has many black spots. Kisumu Kakamega Highway is in bad shape. The road is okay, but there are no rubbles, there are no speed limiting bumps, signage are nowhere to be seen. We have so many black spots, but there is no indication of a black spot anywhere on Kisumu Kakamega Highway. We've been complaining this to Kenha. They have done little. They have ignored this. So we're calling upon the cabinet secretary in charge of transport and infrastructure, Mr. the Honorable Kipchumba Murkomen, kindly do something. Waziri wa barabara, angalie, hii barabara kwanza, hiyo area is so bad. Ata lea subuhi tena accident ingine mefanyika. Mutoto mwingine tena wachavakali high school. Hameongezeka hapa. The two accidents come barely days after another accident claimed lives of Kenyatta University students. <laughs> Bramwell Bire, Kete News, Kisumu. The government has now set aside some 2.4 billion shillings for the immediate deployment.